talking about food, wine, cake, what think, what would you put with it? We look at two, we try to do two things. We either complement, so we do like for like, or we, we do what calls opposites. We try and balance an elephant out there. What you would imagine with this wine is maybe a nice piece of grilled fish, a little squeeze of lemon or a lemon butter sauce or something on those lines. So it's about making sure that you have balance. But where this wine does also work with spicy. You think of something with chili and something uh, like Moroccan food with lots of spices like cumin, and paprika, turmeric, those sort of spicy dishes will work nice. A little bit of chili, perfect for the sweet. Red wine doesn't really like it's acidity. Yes. And what? And this is one of those, one of those, those ironic things because. What is the one cuisine you often associate most with red wines, Italian food? What do these 50% of Italian dishes contain? Tomato. Tomato, though, are not, not red wine friendly because of the acidity. There's a saying that a good wine pairing is when one and one makes three. When you have the food and you have the wine, when you taste it together, there's an element that wasn't there before we're tasting something. The wine wasn't there before we were tasting something there with the food. They're bringing out the best in each other. People will tell you it's a very versatile wine. Very, very versatile. You can make it in very many styles. And also, it goes with a lot of different fruits. What I can say of this specific one, also a lot of cherry type of flavors. On the nose, I get a lot of vanilla from the wood. Taste it, it carries from the palate. It's, not, it's a juicy wine, it's not tannic like a Cabernet. It's a medium bodied wine, so it's going to go with a lot of that. When, when chefs and winemakers do a lot of wine pairing exercises, we often make the mistake of saying, okay, what's the central protein in the dish? Chicken, or lamb, or venison. I say, okay, well, if it's, if it's going to be chicken, then you need a bit of chop. If it's lamb, you need a cabernet sauvignon. And if it's uh, venison, then you must, must catch your ass. And so it's about thinking about not what the primary protein is, but what is the probably the most powerful tasting uh, element to this business. So the rules are there to be broken. And the only way to get good at this is like myself, Madani, you've got to drink lots of wine. <laughs>